my wife has asked that I make a stir fry like I have in the past, but haven't in the last several years. It's an Italian flavor, but I've never found a name for it in Italian. It's a stir fry of uh, things like uh, bell peppers, zucchini, onions, all those things, all those good things like that, and it has Italian sausage in it. So uh, I guess I can just call it my no-name stir fry. With all those great summer vegetables on sale at the markets, uh, this just seemed like a, a natural thing to do. I've got red bell pepper, green bell pepper, a zucchini, some garlic, some capers. Now if you don't have capers, forget it. I just have them, I'm going to use them. Onion, this is mixed Italian herbs, mushrooms, uh, Italian sausage, chicken stock, olive oil, and white wine. Now, if you're adverse to using white wine, use pickle juice. Works the same. It's actually the acid in there that you're going for anyway. But I'm not going to have you suffer through me dicing and preparing and all these vegetables. I'm going to do that and I'll come back to the camera when it started ready to start cooking. I'm going to use a wok simply because I like to and it works so great for stir fry. I'll start out with some olive oil in it here. Hey, pre cook the sausage cut in about one bite sized pieces in some olive oil here and So they don't stick together and whoops there's one over here that got away and let those cook until they're done there and we'll come back to it the sausage is brown well cooked so i'll take it up over here I've got this pot on the back there to cook the pasta in. I forgot to mention that I had some penny pasta. But here's where we use the white wine. Tumble all this good to get it coated completely with the oil. And we'll let that cook a little bit. Give this a tumble here. And I'll put the pasta on to cook. Cook about a half a cup of it. It's just nice to have a little pasta in there with that. Uh, cook that about eight or nine minutes to uh, just to al dente because it'll continue to cook once you put it in. Well, it's cooking down some, so I'm going to add a little chicken stock here and let that continue to cook. Okay, the pasta is al dente now and I'll drain it and add it to that. The vegetables are getting starting to get soft. Okay, I have drained the pasta and I'll put it in there and it's just al dente. It, it will soak up a lot of that 
liquid that's in there. And I'll add the sausage back to it at this point. And salt and pepper it. And add some Italian herbs to it. Dried thyme. Sage, rosemary, and there it is. That ought to be good. And at this time, I'll also add the capers. Now, as I said, if you don't have capers or you don't want them, you don't have to put them in. I just happen to have some. I like the flavor that they add in there. About a level spoonful should do it. See the, the liquid's already getting thicker? That's the pasta taking it up as it finishes cooking. I saved a little over there. If it gets too thick, I can always go back to it. And at this point here, I'll add the mushrooms because you don't want to add those too soon because they will cook up and cook away. And mushrooms don't need much cooking. See the liquid is almost cooked away there now. It looks like it's going to be way too thin, but the pasta takes up a lot of it as it finishes cooking. And of course it'll need some to coat the, mar the uh, mushrooms. Okay, it's ready to go to the table. I'll plate it up or put it in a serving bowl here. That's ready for the serving dish. And there it is on the table.